Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and today we're just taking a quick peek at The Rising. So for those of you who have not been playing Final Fantasy XIV for very long, The Rising is our anniversary event, basically, where we celebrate the relaunch of Final Fantasy XIV when it went from the 1.x series into A Realm Reborn. We've had tons of different rewards and occurrences throughout the years, and in recent years, it's just been an excuse for us to get a minion of one of our favorite characters from the game. And this year, they would appear to be taking that to a whole new extreme. We just have this basic artwork. You can see the wandering minstrel off on the left. You know, you've got some characters here, there. Just, you know, it's good, tid good times, good tidings right now. The footfalls of today echo in the legacies of tomorrow. That is a reference because footfalls is Endwalker and legacies of tomorrow is the future of the rest of the game. I assume this one will probably be one that is it, it, think of it like the teaser we got at the end of Endwalker. i don't think they're going to tease anything like crazy hard but i think it's going to be largely playing off that kind of theme of having averted you know the end of the world and are now looking towards future adventures so it should have a slightly different tone than it's had in the past so it's going to be taking place from saturday august 27th until monday september 12th so you got a little more than a couple weeks in order to get it done and the quest, Newfound Journey, uh, the Wandering Minstrel has a request for an experience adventure. So funny thing about Newfound Journey, I think that is, I just read the patch notes, so it should be fresh in my mind. Tales of our new, of Newfound Journey is like our tales of the, how, how do I describe it? It's not even tales, it's, it's basically adventures in our book, in our quest book, are referring to things that are post 6.0 as Newfound Journey. So I guess that kind of just confirms what I was saying right there. The Wandering Mitchell will be chilling for level, any level 15 player in Ulda, the Steps of Nald. Man, imagine being a level 15 player and having to listen to the Wandering Minstrel talk about like this. I wonder if the text is significantly different because <laughs> there was uh, there's a lot of spoilers you could end up dropping on a character in an event like this when it's available at level 15. Not saying they shouldn't do it, but. I just that's a, it's a lot of details to have to skirt around for this one. And then, of course, the reward. It is a clockwork solace. And no, he is not flipping you off. He is indeed trying to do the snap. But, uh, wow. So, A, everyone's going to want this. And B, calling it clockwork solace, I get why they're doing it. It's for a number of reasons. One... Lore-wise, it makes sense because the, the people at Goldsmith's making it probably don't know Solace is an Asian, so there's one thing. Two, if a level 15 player picked up Wind Up Emmett Selk, might be a little strange for them to be like, who the heck is this? But even Young Solace is not really a spoiler-free minion for a level 15 player to get because by the time you see Young Solace, it's kind of a giant exposition dump anyway that tells you everything so i don't know i mean i guess it does still make sense he is dressed like solace he's not in any of his asian garb or anything and let's be honest we all know next rising is gonna be wind up emmet wind up hithlideus we don't have a wind up vanad do we i don't think we do uh, wind up Vana. <laughs> like, and they're all going to be in there. We do have a wind up Vana. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the other two, we're going to definitely get any of the other ones <laughs> that we don't have. And those are wind up Emmets. Yeah, that's right. That is from the MSQ. I'd forgotten about that. Yeah. So there's, yeah. Wind up Hermes, wind up Medion. <laughs> we're going to get all of those at some point down the line. Uh, but for now, Clockwork Solace is your reward, and you'll have like a 15 to 20 minute like heartfelt message from Yoshi P in the game itself. Anyway, with that, just a quick little video letting you know The Rising is coming on August 27th, so be sure to be there or be a four-sided shape. Mm. Anyway, that's going to be a wrap for me. Thanks for watching this quick little video. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned for all in the latest of Final Fantasy XIV news and guides and whatnot. So, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.